Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about Tron and Ethereum and compare them to each other and then uh, look at what their different characteristics are, what sets them apart and why are so many people hostile towards Tron and then in the end I'm going to talk about what my choice of platform is and why. But before I go into the video I want to remind you that you only have a few days left to join our uh, academy for the special price of $2.99 instead of $4.99 for an entire year of access. You need to go to academy.ivanontech.com. The special price runs towards, uh, well, it runs up until the end of January. So make sure to get in before then. We have our new gaming course coming out, of course, on Ethereum, and we'll release one course every single month. The monthly price is $49, but if you sign up for the entire year, you get it right now for $299, an insane price. You save a lot of money, so make sure to go to academy.ivanontech.com. With that being said, let's get into the actual video. Many people are familiar with Ethereum, and you've seen a lot of Ethereum and Solidity development on this channel. But I've gotten some comments recently that... Uh, suggest that people want me to talk about other platforms and compare them to Ethereum. Since I do so much programming on Ethereum, why is that the case that I do so much on Ethereum? And why do I use Ethereum so much when there are other platforms that offer way more benefits to us as a developer? They offer way more uh, transactions per second. They are cheaper and better to run. Why is it that I develop on Ethereum when Ethereum is so slow, so expensive? And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So first of all, what are the um, characteristics of Tron? Well, if you compare them to, Ethe to Ethereum, they, it looks quite nice. They have no transaction fees. They have no gas cost. There are no cost of doing migrations. They have 2,000 transactions per second versus Ethereum's 15 to 30 transactions per second. And that sounds great, right? Amazing. Just like EOS, you have no transaction fees. There are no gas, nothing like that. You have a huge high amount of transactions per second. And uh, the question in terms of the technical specifications, you have to ask yourself, what is it that we sacrifice when we move towards no transaction fee, no gas cost, and all, all of these thousands of transactions per second? And the answer to that is that we, we put aside decentralization or Rather, we lower decentralization and bring up the transactions per second and all of the other benefits. Because Tron uses a version of a proof of stake, delegated proof of stake, where they have 27 block producers, I believe, that are stake a lot of Tron and then they get to produce the blocks. And then you can have this extremely high transaction per second because there are only 27 block producers and they are known and they can easily communicate all of these new blocks between each other. While if you have a decentralized system where you have miners everywhere, it's very hard to propagate 2,000 transactions per second because you get so many stale blocks, so it simply doesn't work. The, so, so that is the main issue between the two. So you have a fight or a tug of war going on between speed and decentralization. And I've talked about this previously when it comes to EOS, that it is that EOS and Ethereum are two different platforms because one is more decentralized than the other, in my opinion, and uh, the other one is faster, cheaper to run, and so on. And it's the same thing with Tron. So you have to take that into account. It depends on what you're going to develop. Are you going to develop a game? Maybe it's enough, to, enough decentralization to do it on Tron. Uh, if you're going to develop a financial application, maybe you want the decentralization of Ethereum. Or maybe you claim that none of them is decentralized because mining pools mine everything, and you know there are there are many many opinions here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna debate that today. I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of people discussing in the comments, which I love. But it's no secret that I like Ethereum better. And apart from the decentralization issue, which is the main reason that I choose blockchain anyway, there are other things that surround Tron or surround Tron's history that doesn't look too good in, uh, in my view. They have a history of plagiarism where they copied large part of the Ethereum white paper and this has become almost like a meme where they plagiarized the Ethereum white paper and they got busted for it. Now I guess they've written, rewritten it. And uh, they also have this uh, history of doing this funny pre-announcement where they announce the announcement 
of an announcement. And uh, that has also become a meme in this community. They do a lot of promotions. If you look at Justin Sun, which is the CEO of Tron, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry, the CEO of Twitter. <laughs> Not the CEO of Twitter. The CEO of Tron, Justin Sun. If you look at his Twitter profile, it is almost exclusively a bunch of promotions about Tron. Either way, it's new collaborations or it's him bashing Ethereum or it's him bragging about all of the transactions per second they can do. All of these dApps that are running. He brags about the statistics of devs and all of the people making money on Tron. And it really is like a... I mean, it doesn't seem healthy to me that if you have to promote your platform in such a way... Why do you have to promote your platform in such a way? If you have a good platform, you don't really need to push all of this promotional material out every single day. If you look at Vitalik's Twitter, there is very little promotion about Ethereum. Of all the dApps, of all the people making money, of all the features coming up in Ethereum, there are very little promotion going on in his part, while Justin Sun has dedicated uh, his Twitter to promoting and pushing Tron and every good thing that he can find about Tron. And then it turns out that all of these collaborations that Justin Sun has put out on his Twitter, in many cases, have turned out to be flimsy collaborations that are companies owned by Justin Sun themselves or Justin Sun's company. They're sort of like politicians where they just say, we're greater than this person. I'll give you everything you need. You'll get 50 million transactions per second. You'll get no transaction fee. Everyone gets everything. And we have the best blockchain, you know. If you really have to do that, it does it, it it smells shady to me it really does and um it really seems like everything is centered around justin sun and together with their acquisition of bittorrent for example that also is that also seems a bit centralized to me that if the actual tron company starts acquiring companies it doesn't seem very decentralized to me there's a centralized tron organization and of course Vitalik and Ethereum has that problem as well, but it just seem so much more shady when it comes to Tron because all they are doing is centrally pushing their narrative out there. And I don't really appreciate that. But that is only my personal opinion. You might love Tron and you have good reasons for it and that's completely okay. But that is the reason that I choose to code on Ethereum. My <laughs> Primarily because it, it feels more decentralized to me. And uh, also, you have a lot more developers and recognition on Ethereum. You have a lot of developers doing Solidity. You have a lot of businesses already on the Ethereum blockchain. And that helps adoption. And it also helps you if you actually want to consult or work in this space to be an expert in the, pl in the platform that most people use. So if I were to recommend you to use any platform out there, I would recommend you to use Ethereum as well. It is the most popular, well-used platform with the most documentation and with the most examples is the easiest one to get started with, in my opinion. With that being said, I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section. That was all I had for today. So if you have any difference of opinion, I would love to discuss with you in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this type of video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you dislike the video, make sure to hit the dislike button and let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.